now I hope I will not die again. Thank God you came. My name is Dr. Gavin Archer. The situation is urgent. We're facing a catastrophic VI breakout. I'll explain the details later, but you must retract that transmission dish. The controls aren't far from your position. You have to hurry. I will take my time. And check out everything. I can't go in there. So this is the only way. Let's go. Be advised, this is a secure facility. All weapons must be declared upon yeah, yeah, right. Over here, on the monitor. Ah, there you are. I've locked myself in a computer room on the far side of the base. There are Geth on the loose. A rogue VI program has seized control. And I've lost a lot of friends today. I'd hate to see you join them. Please, watch yourself. Be advised, this is a secure facility. All weapons must be declared upon entry and checked with security personnel on duty. Oh, yeah, we, we totally declared our weapons in the facility. Mm -hmm. All weapons must be declared upon mm -hmm. entry and checked with security personnel on duty. So, we are going there. Before we are retracting the dish, we have to take care of anything else. Memo to all project personnel. I understand there's some concern about handling life, Geth. I agree it's a risk, but the potential reward is far greater. Someday your sons and daughters will thank you. But you know that this is not a good idea, right? This is a terrible idea. A lot of Quarians died only recently because they did this. Closely, one day we will be dealing with this exit type of shit. Ooh. I just thought his head was missing. Oh, it's just him. This thing will try to kill us. We will go it staring at us. This is really cool. Oh, it's following us. I feel watched right now. Well, safe just in case.
Oh my god. sound was way too close. Enemies ahead. At least they're killing us while we go. I'll hold them. Where should we start? In from here, so I probably expect us to go up here. Memo to all project personnel. Congratulations on your hard work. Tomorrow we make the next leap forward. It'll be a great day for Cerberus and an even greater day for humanity. Why are people still working for Cerberus? Like... All they're doing is... Bullshit, except for reviving Shepard. But... Like... They were torturing biotic children to turn them into super soldiers. They were conducting experiments on innocent people in some research bases we had to clear out. And of course the elusive man never knew anything about it. It definitely knew. I do not fall for this. No one did know anything shit. They definitely knew. And they definitely approved of it. Damn it all! He's aligning the dish to a new upload target. He'll have a clear line of sight to our satellite. This is going to be tight. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. This is not right. And I didn't look when it happened. Attention! Satellite broadcast window is opening 
soon. All upload data must be approved by your department supervisor. Who thought operating on yeah was a good idea? To the right. Who thought well it worked for the quarians? Let's do it again. Your body is And dark. then actually did it. looked like we could get up there and who thought this kind of design was definitely safe for anyone what were those architects thinking oh. go now to the sea one down! Is it over? these things is really practice good. Oh, I think I'm done with it. stuff so probably is there no there it is window is opening soon all upload data must be approved by your department supervisor maybe you should start switching between weapons but to be honest I just like sniping too much I'm bad at it 
but I like it. You need to destroy the support struts now. They have their own capacitors. Try blowing them up. I see you. Where's that coming from? Just, just a second. Shattered, and we're incredibly Gotta lucky. Be kidding. Move! The whole thing's given way. Over here. The hell's going on around here? Man's reach exceeding his grasp. Come on. I'll explain. I better hope you will have a really good explanation for this shit. Transmission dish destroyed. Surviving scientist located. You have my thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. What's the situation? You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been less than satisfactory. You don't see. That's putting in my I'd hate to see what you call a disaster. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed, at least partially. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his oh, mind yeah, all, all of those people are just VI partially connection. dead. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off-world. Infecting? How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. What are the consequences? What's the worst case scenario? A technological apocalypse. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. If he hit the extranet, who knows where it would end. Did this guy ever read 
I have no mouth and I must scream. Because I think this kind of thing happened. Why are they taking those dystopian stories seriously? You didn't take precautions. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. Certainly not the abomination David has become. David, the VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations. Override? How does the lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization, but you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. And what happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Come on, if you don't want your brother getting into such situations, don't use him for this kind of experiment. Or don't do any kind of experiment in this area because the Quarians already had their share of the consequences. But who, who, who am I arguing with? Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. That's an ambitious undertaking. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. Tell me about Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan Station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. What happens on this station? This is Hermes Station, our communications uplink with the wider galaxy. If you hadn't destroyed the dish in time, the outcome would have been catastrophic. What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Bad idea to begin with. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you've never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would the galaxy be then? Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. Well... Looking for the Reapers only put ourselves at risk. In a way. You put the whole galaxy at risk. Or everything that has anything to do with computers. Do you see what's the scale here? Our risk was way lower compared to the probable outcome. You wait up one kind of apocalypse against another kind of apocalypse. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. There's one simple rule. Do not do any weird things with your siblings. This is so easy to follow, I think. Why are they not able to follow this kind of advice? I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander. I mean, I think I'm supposed to feel sorry for those guys, but I can't, in a way. 
it's bad what happened, but they shouldn't have done it in the first place. Not when this kind of thing already failed multiple times. So where do we have to go next? Ideally... Vulcan and Prometheus. So we have to go. go back to of course it's the um uh... let me beg my makeup please commander you need to find Vulcan and Prometheus stations and override the lockdown from each facility it doesn't matter which one you hit first, but you can't enter Atlas Station until you've dealt with both. Also, keep an eye out for Cerberus security mechs. The VI has likely taken control of them. Archer out. We'll just follow those arrows. Or maybe not Geographic exactly. conditions indicate an aesthetically pleasing view nearby. Organic life forms may wish to take note. Stop crashing into anything. Lean on my stone there. They would like a countdown, like the bad kind of countdown. Like everything will explode. Every zero. Resources. An emergency Cerberus data packet has been recovered. It contains information on Project Overlord that other research cells need to review. Be alert for more packets in the area. Five more remain. Now we have to search for this thing. I'm not sure if I want to do this. I'm all for 100 sending a game but I don't know if it's worth it 